Good morning. It is Saturday of the fourth week of Easter. And just imagine what it was like uh, for those first disciples. It's, we hear in today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles that almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. Imagine going into your city center, wherever you live, and almost the whole city comes out to hear you preach. Now, also imagine how the Jews are feeling. Uh, some of the Jews were hearing the word and accepting it, but many of them were jealous because a lot of the people were following the disciples. But the Gentiles, many of them were so delighted, it says, to hear that eternal life was open to them. And it says many came to believe. So they had felt like, you know, they were left out. And now, you know, they're saying that Jesus has appeared to them. And Jesus shows us the Father, right? We hear in the gospel today, you know, Philip says, you know, Jesus, just show us the Father and that's all we need. You can imagine Jesus doing this like, oh, Philip, how long have you been with me and you still don't get it? You know, the Father and I are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And so, so the apostles go out preaching. Going back into the first reading then, it says, instead of placing their faith in Jesus, the, the Jews incited the women of prominence and the leading men of the city to lead a persecution against Paul and Barnabas. And so instead of opening their hearts to hear the word of God and following them, they decided we're going to persecute them. We're going to get them out of the city. Their hearts were hardened and they were not willing to go, um, you know, with the disciples. In fact, they were willing to do anything to go against them and they, they threw them out of the city. What did the disciples do then? It says they were filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit to be persecuted for the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, I haven't gotten to that point in my spiritual life yet where I'm willing to celebrate being persecuted for the name of Jesus. But he wants us to be so convinced that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that there's no better way to live. He calls us to be fishers of men and to go out without fear of the consequences of that. Think about the last time you had some good news to share. Maybe the birth of a child or maybe somebody, uh, you know, is pregnant in the family. Maybe some, somebody got engaged or maybe even the Cubs winning the World Series uh, a few years ago. Whatever that good news is, you want to share it with the world, don't you? Well, my friends, we have the best news ever. It's greater than anything that can happen in sports. It's better than anything that can happen in our own personal lives. That God became man, took on our human flesh, and lived our lives, died our death, and rose to new life to conquer death itself. So how do we share this good news with others? And I have to share, I was with a good friend the other day, and I was so impressed that... You know, as we were leaving this place, instead of just leaving and minding our own business, he took time to share the kerygma. He took time to share the good news, you know, that we're created in the image of likeness of God, the bad news that we're sinners, that separates us from God, but the better news that Jesus died for our sins. We can also share our own testimony. People can't argue with what God has done in our own lives. Three simple steps. What was my life like before I met Jesus? How did I encounter Jesus? And how has my life been changed? We've talked about this before, but maybe even a 30 second, you know, testimony to share with someone, <coughs> excuse me, how Jesus has changed your life. This is what the disciples did. They shared their kerygma. They, they shared their testimony. People saw the joy in their lives and they said, I want what they have. May people come to want what we have, this peace and joy that goes beyond all understanding that can only come from him. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day, for this weekend. Uh, we praise you for who you are. We thank you for giving us your son, Jesus, who is your perfect reflection here on earth. Thank you also for the gift of the Holy Spirit who gives us grace, wisdom, courage, 
Help us not to fear the consequences of sharing our faith, but to rejoice even in those instances when we may be persecuted for being your followers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to post this video on Friday night, April 30th. If you haven't registered for um, Be Formed yet, registration is going to close early, early Saturday morning. So uh, please get your registrations in. And uh, we can't wait for season two to start May 9th. God bless.